ko tui taku ingoa. I'm a mama to five girls and bestie to my hubby Comrie. He mua, he prihimana, he kaimahi taua moana, he kaya ko zomba hoki ahau. I love a challenge and I'm now on a journey to learn how to hunt. So far so good. I think it's about 10 metres. Ki te hia hia ahau, ki te rapu kai ora, mā taku whānau. I want to show my girls that wahine can hunt too. Can't do this in the city. Join me each week as I meet the best hunters, go to their secret spots. A ka haere, ki o rātou wahi whakangau i Aotearoa. Kāti, hoa ke tātou. Kia ora anō, I'm in Whakatāne today. I'm taking some inspiration from Wairaka. Her actions have named this place. I'm off to meet a whānau who never buy meat from the supermarket. How incredible is that? I'm looking forward to it. Kia whakatāne o ia hau. Ko te mahi a tēnei whānau, taku hia hia he whai mā tōku whānau. Nō reira, he nui aku pātai o te āhua o tēnei mahi. Ah, kia ora tui. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Awesome. Hare mai, come on in. Kei te whare o Dave, rāua ko Māwera ahau. Nā rāua e whai tēnei o ranga, a koinei tōku hia hia. So, whakatāne. You guys live in the city, but you're hunters. Well, we made a commitment to eating wild food because we can. Our whole family life is around gathering and growing our own food. Yeah. Uh, and we managed to make a business out of it, which awesome. is really good. So tell me about this business. Uh, we are the largest supplier of uh, pest bird species feathers in Australasia. So peacock feathers and turkey feathers mainly. Really? Whakamahia ai nā huruhuru i ngā ringa toi i roto i ngā toi maha. So tomorrow, yeah. you and I are going to do some cooking together with my friend Carla. I'm going to starve myself then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's our plan today, Dave? Oh, I think we'll go out this morning and maybe go look for a goat. We're going to go to Stephen Cooper's farm and he'll be sort of our guide and he'll take us around and, and point out the goats. And later on tonight, we're going to go um, probably shoot a couple of turkeys and show you sort of how we do our pest management with the peafowl and the turkeys. So we'll shoot a few turkeys um, and then we'll go shoot a few peafowl. Well, you're going to. And, um, and then the next day, I think we'll cut everything up and, and have a kai. All right, let's go, eh? Kei te haere atu ki te whare o Steve Cooper. Kaore e tawhiti i te whare o Māwera rāua ko Dave. Got pond there right there a bit late. Mr. Cooper! Good to see you. Yeah, you too. So, uh, rumour has it there's a few goats around. Oh, I've got, there's a few roaming around on the place here, yeah. here and there. You think you could find one for Tui to shoot? Yeah, I think they'll be around. And I'll just sit in the truck and wait for you guys, so. Yep, yeah. let her do all the work. <laughs> That's the one. So the work's on me. Well, yeah, no, you're going to shoot it. Yeah. And you're going to gut it. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to drag it. Awesome. <laughs> Carry it. And if you need help, well, this, yeah. this big oaf will help you. <laughs> Tonight, we'll probably come back and, and shoot a couple of peafowl out of their, out of their roosts like we do commercially to show you how it's all done, and, and you'll be doing that too. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Fun. Yeah, fun, awesome. fun, fun. So I'm on this new whenua, and I'm going to go and cull some goats with Steve. I can't believe they're pests. Apparently they're delicious. Yes, yes they, are. they are. Okay, let's go. Okay. Me whakamate nā kote i konei. Ka whakapā atu nā kai pāmu pēnei i a Steve ki a Dave rāwa ko Māwera ki te awhina. Ma Steve Mato e hari, a kei te hari tonu Mato engare he nui ngā kuti ko kitia. He might be a bit small that one to shoot. That's a, that's a couple there, eh? So I've just spotted some goats down there, a mob of goats. So yeah, it should be it should be in our favour a little bit for them. So I'm shooting a new rifle today. What kind of rifle is this? Uh, TK T3, but chambered in 243 super short magnum. Awesome. It's nice and light. Yeah, that's good. Awesome. Okay, so the chamber's clear. Yep. Do you want me to do a dry fire? Yeah, even just hold it in your hand as you are, point in a safe direction and just give it a quick dry fire just so you know the, the weight of the trigger. Yeah. I'm not, I'll just do another one. Choice. Yeah. So this is one flash looking scope. Never seen one of these before. Yeah, yeah, it's full dial up up to about 600 if we want it to. Okay. Yeah, pretty good. Fabulous. Hopefully we can get in a bit closer than that. 
Aroha nui te ai, tēnei pū e jono, a he tēnei taonga ki aia. Nō reira, me tika taku mahi. There's one down here. You could have a shot at that one if you wanted. This is when I start to breathe heavily. Yeah, you got him. You got him. Yeah. Nice clean kilt. That's the one. That was. Yeah. That was really. Good for a first shot <laughs> out of a new gun. Yeah. Amazing. Probably was a bloody long way up out of there too. <laughs> it's only a young goat. Yeah. Have a look. Tēnā See the TT? Yeah. So that makes it just, just a rising two-year-old. Oh, I love its hairdo. <laughs> I've never seen a goat like So that. That, that should be quite a good young goat to eat. Good eating, awesome. And then we can just deal to it up th when we get it up there. <laughs> yeah, that was a good shot. So that's 100 metres done. Yes. And okay. Steve's uh, fitness gym <laughs> in this beautiful country. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see if we can get up to the top this time. Okay, sounds good. Okay. It's only a young one, so it should be it should be good eating. It's a billy, but it's only young. And I just want to finish my workout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, upper body done. Okay. Good. We better um, gut it, I suppose. Pretty much op op opening up this. Yep. He nui nga tikanga, pakarite miti. Nō reira, kei te āta mā take ahau e a Steve. Yeah. Mawera, I've got a really juicy goat here for us to eat our pawpaw. So that shot was about 100 metres. I'm ready to push myself, challenge myself. You're in luck already. We've got another one down there about 300 metres away. Where? Down on the slip, just down there above the track. Oh, there nice and too. handy. So we'll get you set up and have a crack at 300 metres. 300 metres, awesome. Okay, so Jono, 300 metres. Yep. The point of aim is still the same? Yep, point of aim will still be the same. Okay. Wind's all over the show, so just aim it square on the shoulder. Safety's off. E tata ana a hau ki whakatāne kei te kite au i tētahi koti toa. E toru rau mita te tawhiti. No. Oh. Clean miss, so happy oh, wow. that I missed him. Cleanly. Another one in there. So, another one in there. I'll have another go, eh? I'm good to go. Get it sideways if you can. <laughs> nice shot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, first shot was a clean miss, which I'm happy about. And second shot looks like a clean kill. Well, it is, and it's a clean kill, which I'm also happy about. What's the distance there, Johnny? Uh, 280 yards on that one for that second shot. Woohoo, 280 yards. Thanks, guys, I never could. <laughs> yeah, virtual. <laughs> yeah, virtual high five. He roa te hikoi ki te koti, ka taraiwa atu mātou. Ka tahi, ka haere tonu mararo. Yeah, it's probably about a four, four-year-old, maybe going on five. Okay. So why are these beautiful animals considered a pest? Well, I guess, I guess they're only considered a pest maybe in the bush where they do a lot of damage. I mean, out on clear land like this, they, they can actually do a lot of good, mm. like eating gorse and oh, yeah. barberry. And it's, I think they're more of a pest in the bush because they destroy all the young trees. Yeah. So if you just come on the top side again, once again. He akoranga ano tēnei nā Steve, ke te mahi ia i te puku. Ka tahi, ka tuakina, engari, ka riro māku, e waha ki te waka. Right? Yep, all good. All right, nani ko te mission complete. Let's carry this back to the wagon, which is like... 5k's away up the ridges and nah, just over there. Kaore pia he tawhiti, engari he whenua pukipuki tēnei. A, waimare ana i te āwhina mai a Steve. Ko hoki ki te waka. Ka tahi te mahi uaua. 
awesome. I'll let you hold them. Thank you. So I've got two nanikoti for the chiller. Thank you guys, I really enjoyed this afternoon. And Mawera is going to be so happy with us. Kwa mutu te whai whai mō te rā, engare he mahi anō a te pō nei, ka mau te wehi. So Dave's brought me to another farm with all his mates. Kia ora guys. Kia ora, Māori. <laughs> and we are going on a turkey hunt tonight. So Jano, I understand you're going to be my guide? Yes. Awesome, and I hear that you have got the ultimate hunting toy. Oh, at the moment, yeah, got a XQ38F Doom Watermajer. So it's going to help us find uh, whatever we're looking for. Awesome. Now I hear that this is every hunter's dream to own one of these, so I'm looking forward to seeing it in action. Can I have a tutu later on? Oh, we'll see. Oh, okay, so I've got to earn. <laughs> I see what I'm learning with hunting is you've got to earn your stripes. So I've got the 22 here. Yep. But I've never used one before, so do you want to give us a quick rundown? Right, show me the safety. Okay. Yep. Flick so the safety off when you're ready off. to shoot. Yep. Shoot Finger on trigger after the safety's off. Yeah, we'll just keep the muzzle in a safe direction when you're not shooting. Yep. Right, safety is on. We're ready to go. Correct. So your thermal camera, do you use it a lot? Ah, yes. When you look through it, is it really good visibility? You can identify your target? Yeah, it is, yeah. Nice. And how far can you see? Oh, I think it's got about a radius of about 1,400 metres. Wow, that's quite a distance. Yeah. Yep. So with all these questions, are you getting my hint that I want to have a go? Yeah, I am, oh, actually. Good. Yeah. yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Te ahua nei, kaore pe au e whai wahi ki te raweke i te taputapu pō kākā a jānau. You can see the brown of the wing. Yeah. Just try to shoot quite high on its back whenever you're ready to. Nice. It's okay, that bird's hit and it's gonna die. Just look. Just hold on a sec. Just watch that bird. It's just gonna fall over, it's dead. Okay. Take that one on the fence post, please. A little bit forward and high. Nice shot, nice shot. Just watch. John, I'll grab its head, give it a ring. There you go, there's a hen. Nice, there's three. You've just made three perfect shots on three turkeys. They've just fallen down. You hit them right where the wing attaches. You hit them in the vitals, in the heart and lungs, and they just fall over and die. If you shoot them in the head, they hit the ground and blah, all over the place. I didn't think shooting, shooting turkeys would be so much fun. And they're yummy too. Yeah, and they're yummy. It is a tough tree to see them in. Where I want you to shoot it is as far forward as you can see, right in the center. Te ahua nei e te moana i te papa. Engare, kwa materawa te manu nei. I feel selfish, I'm having all the fun. There you go, Jono. Oh, I missed it, I. No, no, you hit it perfect. Thank you. I've lost count. Noho ai te korukuru i te rākau. Kia kore ai e pātua. Nō reira he māma te pupuhi. Kua piri mai a jānau. Kaore e ngāhau te pupuhi takitahi. So it feels really good. I'm not using poison. I'm using a seven cent bullet to um, cleanly kill these birds and do everyone a favour, the farmer a favour. Mawira a favour for her feather business. And my girls a favour. They get to eat turkey. Yeah. And it's yummy. And it is it's yummy. It's really yeah. yummy. Nice shot. Perfect. Engare, he mea nui te whakarongo ki te kaiārahi. Back off a couple steps, it's going to land and you don't want it on your head. That's <laughs> a good thing. <laughs> Kia ora, Dave. Good thing I said move back a couple of steps. I didn't expect to have these many turkeys to take home tonight. I was thinking, oh yeah, one, maybe two. He nui nā manu hei pūpuhi, engari me mutu. Ko te tikanga, a pūpuhi noa i te rahi, e taiana e koe te whakariterite. So I had heaps of fun. Over ten turkeys, peacock time. Kei te whakawhiti noa, ngā pī kake i te pātiki. P 
pēnei i ngā korekoru he māma te pupuhi i te wā e noho ana. He rau e te tirohanga pōkākā ki ngā kararehe. Right, we're at the peacock spot now, and Jano's just spotted two clumps of peacocks. We're going to head down, just three of us, Jano, Jono and myself. The rest of the guys are going to stay here. Just in front of the branch, gotcha. It's flying. Turn your light on. Turn your light on. It's flying down. Just watch it. Watch, watch, watch. Listen. He kire he te pikake. He kai nana i nga pātiti me ngā mara a ngā kaipamu. He mea here mai, he ngā rā o mua. Kaore o rātou horiri. So cleared out a tree, our weapons are safe. Now it's time to go and collect them. Can you tell where the shot was made or do you have to wait till you pluck it? It's got a broken wing, so oh, yeah. it's a good start. Yep. The most beautiful birds I've seen, up close and personal. Last time I saw one of these was at the zoo when I was a kid. What a good night hunting. He nui ake ngā manu i mau, i tāku i whakaaro ai, a he rawe tēnei mahi ki au. I nga pō e whaiwhai mātou i ngā korukoru me ngā pīkaki. Far out! A, i te ata nei, ka whakātū mai a Dave, me pēhea te whakamahi i te tinana katoa o te manu. That's pretty bird. So how long does it take to process a peacock? Well, you got to watch. Yeah. All right, say go. All right, ready, set, go. Put that aside. Pretty easy to lop those off. Let me get a tail, get down just so the tail feathers come off. He a tāhua te noho a Dave Rawa ko Māwera. Ko tā rāua, he whakakore ki rehe. He tuku huruhuru hoki ki te hunga e pirangi ana, puta noa i te motu, ka whaihua te katoa. So tell me how it started. Well, I'm a hunter. I, you know, I moved to New Zealand in, in 2001 from Canada. I um, was lucky enough to meet some really cool people and got out pig hunting right away. And I was always a hunter. And, mm. Um, got out pig hunting and this, and this mate of mine who had a farm and was a pig hunter said, oh, do you want to shoot a turkey? I was like, yeah, where I come from, you know, they're these serious trophy game animals. Yeah. And, and how about a peacock? I was like, whoa, man. <laughs> so I got out there and started hunting these guys. And, and, you know, here's this Canadian dude who comes over, you know, who has a season on rabbits. And, uh, you know, back there where you can only shoot so many a day and I could come here and shoot as many as I want. I said, mm -hmm. you're kidding me. So I went nuts on the small game and um, um, eventually I had this big pile of peacock feathers sitting in the garage. I thought, oh, I'll just put them on this trade me thing back in 2002, which was sort of a new phenomena back then. And I put them on there and you know, it was this dollar reserve thing and they sold for a lot of money. And I went, oh, you mean I can do this and actually make a little money to cover my cost? And that's how it began, and, you know? We started plucking possums, of course, everyone's doing that, mm -hmm. and harvesting some feathers, and then, you know, slowly building up products, and then, you know, we went in and made a website, and then we started to get more and more serious. And So those are my main products off there. Um, you've seen where I've taken off this emerald green off mm -hmm. here, and some of the beautiful blue off the neck, and then some of these striped feathers. A lot of these longer feathers will go into other products. Mm -hmm. And again, those ones come off quite easily. So again, I would pull off a bit of the marabou feathers, but anything that's yucky or not nice doesn't come with me. Yeah, and you can see some good looking meat there. Oh yeah, no, there's lots of meat. And um, let's just rip into it, eh? Yeah. If you could grab me that tray, okay. I'll just um, quickly whip through the, the meat removing process. Yeah. Oh, there's lots of meat. And I'll just whip down through the breast. I mean, it's like a chicken breast, you know, if yeah. you've done that before, you just run a knife down along the edge. And I'll show you wow. two parts. That looks exactly like a chicken breast. And the next little bit of meat in here is the little, the, what we call the, the tenderloin, or the little chicken finger. And this is on a, uh, this is on a big tendon. 
And the thymine is um, PFAL is quite strong and it's not great for just cooking unless you use a lot of spice. We take it and put it into sort of salami meat and patty meat and that kind of thing. Mm. So again, we clean off some feathers and pull a bit of thigh meat off. Te nui hoki o te miti. Time, that is six minutes and 30 seconds. That's pretty good, eh? Yeah. Mm. He akoranga na jano e hare ake nei. Mana e fakatu mai me pehea te tango i te kiri o te koti i puhia e nanahi. That was my back leg, one of the tasty ones. So, what is the best part of the goat to eat, oh, in your opinion? Back steaks, of course. Principles still all the same. Yeah. And the skin. Is there any use for the skin? Nah. So you can see how lean that meat is, isn't it? So there's your entry there. Oh yeah? Oh happy with that. So I'm pretty happy with my shot placement. Right above the shoulder there. 100 metre shot. Oh yeah, bring the old saw up. Something my dad would do. Just like that. Perfect. It's like something you'd see at a butcher. Well, I am looking forward to tasting this succulent morsel. Which part are we taking in? Oh. We're probably taking the two back legs and the back steaks to go with it. Yeah. Kotahi te miti nei ki te kauta. E mahi Māori tēnei mā tēnei whānau e tunu i te miti mata. Busy in the kitchen? Mm-hmm. And you must be the famous colour. Nice yeah. to meet you. And you too. Thank you for cooking for me too. Hey, here is your goat. What do, what do you want me to do? Um... What a, why not start cutting up some of the goat that you shot? Okay. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Awesome. All right. So this is obviously the back steak, which mm -hmm. is one of the most tender pieces. Look at that. So you can just slice that all the way through and just into like little chunks. All right. And we'll use that for one of the dishes. He ringa wera a kāla a ko tana tino ko ngā kai i kōhea mai i te whenua. So Carla, what are we going to do with this? We're actually going to do two dishes with the goat today. We're going to do a really simple um, goat korma. Most of the meat that we eat would come from within 20 k's of where we live, mm -hmm. um, but it didn't come from the supermarket. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so can you actually remember the last time you bought meat? Oh, gosh. Other than buying the odd frankfurter, because Jack likes them, um, yeah. and we can't hunt for frankfurters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you go there? The processed forest or something? <laughs> but Yuck. other than that, it would be 14 years because when I met Dave, that was the promise that he made that I wouldn't have to buy meat. He would be a hunter. We hunted together. Oh, what and, a mess. Um, and our kids are learning how to hunt and the Meharis hunt with us and yeah. all those other guys. Like, you've met some amazing yeah, people, I eh? Have, I have. And they're, they're just guys who have got the same philosophy as us that, you know, that, that nature can sustain mm. us. And if we don't hunt it, we grow it. Yeah. So like we farm our own pigs. Really? And our own beef. Yeah. And sheep. So. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So how long do these take, Ma? Oh, they just take a few minutes. Yeah. They um yeah just just cook them like you would any other um any other meat um like a crumbed fish or a crumbed chicken. Do you want to try one? Yeah. So just go. There's a little salsa there as well. Look great, they smell great. Here goes. First time eating peacock. First time eating peacock. Yay. Bon appetit. Oh my goodness. So yummy, eh? And you so soft lying. and tender. They mm. are beautiful. Chicken. Yeah. Straight but, chicken. But better. Mm. You can yeah. taste the goodness in it. Yeah. Yum. You were telling me earlier that you approached the council and said, don't poison, let me take care of it. Yep, that's what we did with the peacocks and the okay. turkeys. And so, and our regional council are awesome. They will come to us now and say, can you come in and sort this block out? And we go and do it. Yeah. And so um, we're shooting around, I don't know, anywhere between sort of 800 and 1,000 birds a year. Um, we make our living selling the feathers. There's no poison in the environment. They don't have to poison them no. to control them. And all of that meat goes to feeding families. 
people are hungry, they know they can come and see us and we'll have pie for them. And, uh, and we teach other people how to do it. Ka tahi te hākari ko tēnei. Kei konei e hora ana te koti te korukoru me te pikake. Kona tikana tunu he iniana, he ahia, he Mediterranea hoki, he kire he te katoa, a e waiwai ana taku waha. I have had the most inspirational weekend from learning how to cull pests to making them into delicious kai. Thank you Wahine Toa for inspiring me this weekend. Nā mihi to you. And guys, thank you for the epic hunting trips. I really enjoyed myself. Ciao ra. Nā mihi nui kia Dave rawa ko Mawera me ngā tāngata katoa e whai wāhi mai. Ko koutou kei runga. Hey, Paul.